going to be completely true there are some things that are going to be just you know, you know for the good of the group you know we are going to be starting with esther, esther the beauty queen yeah she was a very pretty lady nicknamed esther so. so it's the chapter it's the book of esther chapter three verses one to seven i will be reading one to seven but l will be reading eight to nine, eight to nine. so really we're reading chapter three Verses 1 to 9. Let's get started. Haman's plot against the Jews. A plot against the Jews? What? Gosh. Let's just get into this. Sometime later, King Xerxes promoted Haman, son of Hamadatha, the Agagite, over all the other nobles, making him the most powerful of official in the empire. Meaning, he was... Like the big guys, like you know, like you know, there's the president and there's the vice president. He's like the vice president of this whole um, country. All of the king's officials would bow down before Haman to show him respect whenever he passed by, for so the king had commanded. This doesn't make sense. He's just the vice president. Well, vice president. And th that doesn't make sense. And also in the Ten Commandments, it said, do not bow down to any others but me, Brah. which is God. Brah. So this is already not sounding too good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Mordecai refused to bow down or show him respect. Ooh. Okay, Mordecai. Ooh. Well, at least Mordecai, I'm sure Mordecai showed him some respect, but not like too much respect when it's going to make him have a big ego. Which means you, you take your whole that. <laughs> then the palace officials at the king's gate asked Mordecai, Why are you disobeying the king's command? They spoke to him the day after the day, but he still refused to comply with the order. So he's basically saying, No, not today. Oh, oh man, that sucks for him. <laughs> So they spoke to Haman about this to see if he could tolerate Mordecai's conduct, since Mordecai had told them he was a Jew. This is a problem. Mordecai, why did you have to say you were a Jew? Now you're putting that all the sucks. other Jews in danger. That just sucks. Why? When Haman saw that Mordecai would not bow down or show him respect, he was filled with rage. <laughs> he got really angry, and I don't think I want to be around him when he's really angry. He'd be like, so basically, that's if your um, oh, parental God. guardian gave, or one of your friends or someone, Gave you their phone to use, but maybe you needed to record something real quick so that you would send it to your phone later mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or something else. Oh, oh, oh. And, and then you break you it. it. You drop oh, it. Oh my gosh. Like you're putting it on the balcony. So if you're like, here's the balcony, here's the phone. And then like it's teetering back and forth and back and forth. And you're like trying to do the renegade. And then it goes like, <laughs> pow. All your Instagram followers is <laughs> gone. <laughs> your friend. Bye bye. And then you've destroyed your best friend's phone. Oof. And then you're... And that's rage. basically rage. And you know what I mean. He had, he had learned of Mordecai's nationality, so he decided it was not enough to lay hands on Mordecai alone. Instead, he looked for a way to destroy all the Jews throughout the entire empire of Xerxes. 
Oh my gosh. So in the month of April, during the twelfth year of the king of King Xerxes' reign, lots were cast in the in Haman's presence. The lots were called Purim to determine the best day in month to take an action. And the day selected was March 7th, nearly a year later. Can you believe it took a year to plan that? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. About a year. Wow, wow, wow. So now, Ella, she's going to take it away and Hello. read the tea. And the microphone hot. That tea is hot, and that means you're going to be like, hi, <laughs> when you touch it. <laughs> I am reading... Esther chapter 3, verses 8 through 9. Then Haman said to King Erxus, There is a certain people dispersed. That, that's dispersed. And dispersed means like scattered. Ugh. Like you're holding on your pennies to go get some ice cream. Oh, no. But no, you trip no, over no, a no, stick no, and you no. drop it. It just makes me sad. And then your that pennies disperse or scatter on the floor. Oof. Oof, oof me. <laughs> Continue. Among the peoples in all the provinces. Provinces. Of your kingdom who keep themselves separate. Their customs are different from those of all other people, and they do not obey the king's laws. It is not in the king's best interest to tolerate. What does tolerate mean? It means to like. Okay, this is this is something different difficult to explain. Tolerate means like you're expected to do something. It's not like, and you know what I find funny about Haman? It's like, he's only talking about this one guy that he met that will not bow down to him. All the other people are doing it. They're all being good people. Well, actually no, it's actually not really that good, but they're all doing what Haman is saying. He's only trying to get one guy out with the rest of his other people to make Burn. him feel scared or something. Burn. Honestly, Haman was just trying to be Really bad, and that's why we're spilling the tea. If it pleases the king, let a decree be issues, issues, issues? issued, issued, issued. What does issued mean? A decree to be issued means like a law to be like passed and to be made. You know, okay. like just like you when um. Like in your like when you have chores around your house, that's your chore, right? You have to do it because whoever told you to do it, who's older than you, you know you have to do it. It's just the way of life. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> to destroy them, and I will give ten thousand talents of silver to the king's administrators. What does administrators mean? Like your principal. Well, it's not your principal, but it's the people under the principal. So you know how there's a principal, a vice principal, and then there's like the, um, uh, what are they called? The administration, the administration team. So all those other people that are not the principal and the vice principal, principal, all those people. That's the king's administration. For the royal treasury. This is the word of the Lord. Thank so, to God. that's one thing that we always say when we read, when we finish reading the Bible. It's so, just like because it literally is the word of the Lord. It's so, literally the word of the Lord. So, you can say that with us next time you see it. So, so we, yeah. <laughs> thanks be to God. Thank you. So then Mordecai is like, I need to go inform Esther about this. Like, mm -hmm. literally, <laughs> this can't happen. <laughs> if you didn't know, okay. Esther was the queen. <laughs> so she was like this <laughs> big lady in a whole big, of Xerxes big. empire. Wow. So Mordecai goes up to his queen niece. Wow. 
Wow. Normally yeah, it's like, you know, that's just like a nickname, you know. Hey, queen. No. <laughs> but no, she's actually the queen. Wow. So she go he goes to where she stays, which isn't with the king because that's just how they did it back then. And she was in the middle of taking an Instagram picture because, like, you know, boost her profile. She's the queen, all that stuff. So Mordecai literally photobombs her perfect picture with her perfect face, oh my her gosh. perfect hair, Somebody that knows. one perfect background, one. and then Mordecai's head is like, like you know. <laughs> so, like, this is the phone. And then Mordecai's head is like, hee hee hee, And Mordecai's like, really? you're the queen. You have to act on this so fast because you're the queen. And then he's like, then she's like, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. What? What am I doing again? And then he's I'm like, the he made plans to do some evil things to all of our people, the Jews. And then she's like, Hold up, hold the phone. What is going on here? And then she's like, what What am I going to do? I can't do anything. I'm just the queen. The queen doesn't make any decisions oh, of yes the whole kingdom. Does. Yes, she does. So then M Mordecai yes. speaks to her. And now she speaks to her some, motiv some <laughs> motivational. So like a motivational speech. You like, do, you know, you, you can, can do, do it. it. You can do it. And then, he's, and then I mean, he just gives her a really good pep talk. And it's like, hey, this is That'd probably your purpose. This is why God has made you queen of this whole empire for this very reason. Wow. And then she's like, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, but first I need to fast with all of my best friends. Because, you know, fasting helps her. Just It's just like her cleansing her body to make her. What does fasting? Fasting is when you eat no food. Believe it. No, no food. No. I'm never ever going to do that. And she did it for three days. But you have to also pray. You're not just... Because you're not, if it's just no food, then you can just call fasting a diet. You know what I mean? But fasting is when you're praying. Every time you give up something that you really love doing. I love food. So it would be super hard to oh. fast the food. I love Roblox. It would be so hard to fast Roblox. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to hop into Ooh, chapter but, 5. Oh, now that mm -hmm. you know all the background knowledge yep. of chapter 4. Reacting. Esther's request to the king. On the third day of the fast, Esther put on her royal robes and entered the inner court of the palace just across from the king's hall. One thing you should know is that you can't show up to the king without, you know, just go walking up in there, you know? You have to actually have a legitimate reason. Ooh, ooh. The king was sitting on his royal throne facing the entrance. When he saw Esther standing there in the inner court, uh-oh, what did he do? Did he banish her and make her unqueen? <laughs> The gold scepter to her. He did it. He, yeah, Esther did yeah, it. Yeah. She got into the king's palace. And so, so God, God gave, gave her, her favor. favor when she fasted and everything. <laughs> Jeez. So Esther approached and touched the end of the scepter. Then the king asked her, What do you want, Queen Esther? What is your request? I will give it to you, even if it's half the kingdom. Just like that, God has given her even more favor. Whatever she wow. asked for, she'll get it. Wow. Now, will she take the opportunity? Will she take the opportunity, though? <coughs> Esther the, es, and Esther replied, If it please me, the king, let the king and Haman come today to do a banquet I have prepared for the king. Huh? Wasn't it supposed to be about, you know... Banishing Demolishing Haman. Haman's dreams. But giving him a plan? dinner? Dinner. Bruh. Dinner? Like, what you know, with turkey and chicken and I bread. I think I'm losing my... <laughs> that is not a good thing to do. <laughs> the king turned to his attendants and said, 
Tell Haman to come quickly to a banquet, as Esther has requested. So the king and Haman went to Esther's banquet. Dun, dun, dun. And look, we'll continue. <laughs> as they were drinking wine, the king again asked Esther, Now what is your position? Position? Basically, what? what is your request? What is your question? Because... You don't come to the queen, the king, just for dinner. There's something that she wants, and the king knows that. Okay. And right. it's also a petition, so, yeah. Petition. All right. It will be given you. Wow. Given you. Literally. Wow. Everything's words. been working in given. her favor. Give. <clears throat> so now she should, you know, take it. Ask the question. And what is your request? Even up to half the kingdom, it will be granted. Esther replied, My petition and my request is this. If the king regards me with favor, and if it pleases the king to grant my petition and fulfill my request, let the king and Haman come tomorrow to the banquet I will prepare for them. Huh? And Again? For the second time? I'm wow. sure Haman's side of all of this is like, you know, I need to, you know, post it on the Instagram. I so he goes, Instagram. eating dinner with the queen and the king only oh, for me. Oh, Takes oh. picture, poses, gets like, I don't know how gets many Gets a hearts. fake princess crown on. Look at my crown. So basically, Haman thinking he's all this being to be invited by the queen. Oh my gosh! And the king. Oh my gosh! Haman's rage against Mordecai. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Here comes the big T. My the whole like... reason why Haman is trying to harm the Jews. Mordecai just leaving there like. Whoa, look at me. I'm this big I'm shot. So fly. Look at so me. So now let's continue and see what happens next. Haman went out that day happy and in high spirits. But when he saw Mordecai at the king's gate and observed that he neither rose nor showed fear in his presence, he was filled with rage against Mordecai. Nevertheless, 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 what's the nevertheless mean? Kind of like, however, but, you know, huh? <laughs> huh. <laughs> he was a strange man, and went home. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lips. So, right now, that basically means that Haman is not, no, Mordecai is not a friend of Haman. Ooh. Haman thinks he's this big guy that everybody thinks he's all that. So they meet. it's like meeting your your dream um, YouTuber. Yeah, your favorite YouTuber or your favorite wow. artist and Which singing. Be us. And then you'll probably be like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh he my ex God. Haman expects everybody to act like that towards him. Wow. So the fact that Mordecai isn't doing this is really bothering him. Okay, so now we're in chapter 7. Well, yeah, we're going to summarize chapter 6. So what happened in chapter 6 was the king couldn't sleep. Oof. Which is like all of us when it's like our birthday is the next day. It you can't is. sleep. You just want to, you know, just stay up the stairs. You know, jump up and stay at the stairs to try and look what your birthday present is. <laughs> all the decorations. <laughs> So he couldn't sleep, and it wasn't even his birthday tomorrow. Wow. So he told his, like, writer, his journalist type thing, who writes down every single moment of his life, literally. Wow. And so he was, he to, fall, to help him fall asleep, he was asked to read them, literally, from the beginning of his reign to that time. And he was king for a long time, so... He must have gotten pretty far. And then, in those records, in a point he was, hard, he was, there was a plan to try and harm the king. And the sheriff, which was Mordecai at the time, 
well, during that time, saved his life. Literally, he ambushed their plan, and those people who were trying to harm the king were, you know, arrested and sent to the dungeon, you know? And then, but he was never honored. And no. they want, and the king was like, we what? didn't honor this man? We didn't? How did we just skip over him? So now he's like, I need to have a ceremony. I need to have a ceremony for this guy. So he cut, and, and then he gets news from the, the guard saying, Haman is here. And then he's like, oh, good, good, good. Bring him, bring him to my room because I have a question for him. And so he asks, how do I honor this special man who has done this super good item, super good thing, and they've done, they're being amazing and they're so great and they've done, they're just phenomenal. And then he's like, it must be me, it must be me. So while he's giving ideas, he's like, at 2 p.m. at, you know, this at downtown. Meet me at downtown at 2 p.m. to see me being awarded by the king. And he posts it. And then also say, oh, you should give him your finest robe. And you should let him ride on your best horse. A stallion, I think they said. So now it's like, wow, Haven, way to be selfish. Like, you know, there are other people in the whole kingdom, Brat. but he thought it was him. Of course, Haman, thinking it was him. You know, he acted Haman. So then, after he's posted, and then the king says, now do all of this right now, actually no, tomorrow, for Mordecai. And he's wow. like, Mordecai, my enemy? What? Mordecai? That guy. It's basically like you and the school bully. Do something for the school bully. Like, the school bully gets the nicest friend award in the school. And you're like, what? Wow, How did he get this? Or she get this? And you're supposed to present the trophy to them. Yeah, that is basically what Heyman is feeling. So after that, he has to arrange this. Or else, you know, it's off of his job. He's gone forever, never to say again. So he does do this. Which is definitely something that I would never do. Because if I was doing it, I would have definitely pranked them. You know, put peanut butter on their chairs. You know, so when they got up, it looks like they pooped. You know? <laughs> Just prank them while you're having to do this. Because you didn't want to do it in the first place. Anyway. So that's what happened in chapter 6. And then, when he got home, before I forget, he was all sad. Like and he was like... Like the king boy. turned on me. Like Literally, I, he was going to, of course he switched the story because like, you know, with Amen, he always switches all the stories. And he's like, he was going to honor me. And then he's like, he's going to honor, honor Mordecai. And I already posted it. And so he's literally having a, men a mental breakdown. Like, oh my goodness, my life is over. My Instagram is ruined. They're all going to think I'm a, I'm a liar and all of that stuff. Bruh. So that's how he went home feeling that... I think it was around morning, actually, early in the morning when uh, he did that because he couldn't sleep. Well, now let's read Esther chapter 7, verses 1 to 10, 1 to 5 for me, 6 to 10 for Ella. The king executes Haman. So the king and Haman went to Esther's banquet. On this, on this second occasion, while they were drinking wine, the, or grape juice, the king again said to Esther, Tell me what you want, Queen Esther. What is your request? I will give it to you, even if it's half the kingdom. So this is literally the second banquet. Queen Esther replied, If I have found favor with the queen, with the king, and it pleases the king to grant my request. Oh no, is she gonna say another banquet? Another banquet? Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. like wow. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense because you know, three times makes up for the three days you didn't eat food, you know. H E H. I ask that my life and the lives of my people will be spared. Yes! She finally has what Mordecai has needed yes. her to do from the first time she walked into that room. Wow. For my people, 
and I have been sold to those who would kill, slaughter, and annihilate us. If we had, which basically means kill and slaughter, like they said earlier. I know. No. Tossing the garbage. Bye-bye. If we had merely been sold as slaves, I could remain quiet. For what would be too trivial a matter of to warrant disturbing the king? Who would do such a thing, King Xerxes demanded? Who would be so presumptuous as to touch you? Basically mean, who would be so annoying? So he's basically saying, who would dare want to hurt you? Like, what? Esther chapter 7, verses 6 to 10. Esther said, In adversity and enemy, this vile Haman. What? Oh my God. Wow. Like, we got you. That's the guy. The man. That's, that's why the he's with, that's why he's in this whole banquet. And literally, like, wow. Oh my goodness. Then Haman was terrified before the king and queen. The king got up in a rage, left his wine, and went out into the palace garden. So basically, now Haman's, now the king is feeling like Haman when Mordecai did bow down to him. So he's really mad and really angry. Like, really, really mad. Like, my set, my vice, my vice king, or whatever you want to call it, or my vice president, is trying to do this to my queen and her people. No, 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 no. This is not happening. You know what I think? I don't think Haman knew that Mordecai and Esther were related. So that made it seem so much worse. Yeah, that's a good point. But Haman, realizing that the king had already decided his fate, <laughs> stayed behind to beg Queen Esther for his life. Just as the king returned from the palace garden to the banquet hall, Haman was falling on the couch where Esther was reclining. The king exclaimed, Will he even molest the queen while she is with me in the house? As soon as the word left the king's mouth, they covered Haman's face. One of the um one of the attendants came and took him away. Got rid of him. There, that's it. That's that's done. He is never to be seen again. And that's the tea spilt! That's the tea spilt! Bible studies with Discovery Sisters. By the way, if you didn't catch it, I'm Chloe and she's a little. And but you can also subscribe to our channel. I never asked. Spilt. Drop the mic. Spilt. Drop. All finished. Everything, all the juice, all the tea, it finished over. That's that. That was in the all payment. The payment. He was again. never to be seen again. All the ice milk he made it watery. Ooh. So the moral of the story, guys, is you may have enemies. Like, you know, that school bro bully from earlier. But they're right. still human. They're just making a mistake. And you need to be nice to them. Because what happened is they probably weren't being treated nicely. So they're and probably doing that. Yeah, so just be nice to everyone. Even if, you know, they're the most annoying person on the planet. But, you know, that only takes between you and you. And <laughs> God, of course. Of course. So, this was it for Bible study with Discovery really? Sisters. And, yeah, I, this class has been so much fun. Like, this is going to be so much fun. And stay tuned for more. <laughs>